Would you like to see how to achieve this natural looking brow? Keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are doing awesome. For this brow tutorial, I'm using the Hair Guy and Esther Brow Gel in the shade Toffee. I scooped out a bit to the back of my hand and then I used a spoolie to brush the hair into place. I'm going to be using this flat definer brush to do the brow. If you don't have a flat definer brush, you can always customize your regular angle brush to be as flat as possible. So now I am doing the outline of the brow. I'm going to do the lower and the upper outline of the brow. The reason I like to do the outline first is that it helps to guide me in where to put my hair strokes. Okay, so I'm doing both the lower and the upper outline of the brow. If you notice, I didn't extend the outline to the very beginning of the brow because I want it to look very, very natural. Okay, so I'm just stopping it um, a little bit farther from the beginning and then I'm filling up the space in front with tiny hair strokes. The size of your hair strokes is determined by the size of your brush. That is why I insist on using a very flat angle brush or a flat definer brush. So right now I am just creating hair strokes and then filling in any sparse areas where there is no hair. And I am also making sure to work with a very light hand because I don't want it to look too thick. You don't necessarily have to create hair strokes everywhere. You only create it in the areas where it is needed. Like empty spaces, you gently fill them in. After that, I'm going to use my spoolie to brush the hair into place and to make sure that everything is looking nice and clean. I'm going to go on and do the second brow. I'll repeat exactly what I have on the other side, on this side. Another important factor is that when you're picking the product, you should use it to press the mouth of the brush flat. Like you can see how I was pressing it um, on both sides just to make sure that the, the mouth of the brush is flat. It will give you a more defined line. If this is your first time here and you are not yet subscribed to this channel, why don't you consider subscribing so that you can become a part of this awesome family? Don't forget to hit the notification bell when you subscribe so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. While you are at it, please check out uh, the playlist on this channel. I have very interesting videos, gele videos, hair videos that you might find useful. And please leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about my videos, okay? I'm going to be using the LA Pro Concealer in the shade, um, I think this is medium beige. I can't remember what it is, but I'm going to leave it in the description box. 
So I'm going to be using that concealer to clean out my brow and um, to make it more defined. When I do this, I only prefer to clean out the underneath of the brow and not the top. Okay, so I try as much as possible not to mess up the top so that I don't have to use concealer on top. All right, so that's basically what I'm doing there, using the concealer to clean out the brow. And as you can tell, I am using very little concealer as I already have her makeup done and I don't want to mess that up. So I'm using very little concealer and afterwards I'm going to blend it out with um, a blending brush. That I am done blending out the concealer I'm going to go ahead and set it with powder so that the concealer doesn't move thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any questions leave it in the comment section until I see you next time stay blessed